If you're new to Questia School, or even if you've used it before, there are a lot of new features and an improved interface that makes searching even easier. Remember to open questiaschool.com rather than questia.com, it's completely different. Or you can use the link from the Newton North High School Library Learning Commons website. To start with, you're going to have to type in a username and password, so I'm going to do that. If you don't have one, you can get one from the library. To start, you can click on uh, the search box up here and type in a search. I'm going to try Martin Luther King. By default, Questio will search for all of the words that I typed in as keywords. You'll see them over here. You can change what you search for by clicking on the little edit button here. Looks like a little pencil. And then I can change that to any of the words, all of the words, exact phrase, or none of these words. And in different situations, that's going to help. Now you'll notice over here I have over 18,000 search results. That's a tremendous amount of, of searching and browsing um, to find my information. That's just way too much. So I'm going to limit that down further. I'm going to type in, I have a dream. So I'm interested in that speech. And I'm going to look for that as an exact phrase. And click on the little check mark here. You'll notice it's now down to 432 books. So I've narrowed it down. It's still a lot. I've, I've over, actually over a thousand search results here. So I need to narrow that down even further. Now one thing you can do is use these other options over here. I can type in a title of a book, an author, a subject, a publisher, the publication name if it's in a journal or magazine, or a publication date. I'm going to try that one. I'm going to look for something, say, maybe something that's recently published about the Eye of a Dream speech. Maybe say after 19, uh, sorry, 2006. Let's try that. Now you'll notice that the books have gone down to 406. I still have a lot of books. I'm sorry, I put before. Let's change that. I'm going to change that to after 2006. And you'll notice a difference. There's actually 14 books written in 405 results. That's much more manageable. That's something I can scroll down through and read. So that's one way to limit it. Another way is I'm going to remove these limiters by clicking on the X here. You can always take those off. See, it's gone back to 432. I could also change Martin Luther King to an exact phrase. And that way I'm looking for just stuff about Martin Luther King rather than Martin Luther, the Protestant Reformation guy. So you notice that's limited it down to 401 here. Another way I can further limit that is by, say I'm going to remove this exact phrase for I Have a Dream, back up to 17,000 results, but I'm going to look for a publication range. I want to see what was written about Martin Luther King while he was alive. Now this is a great way to actually find primary source material. So, for example, between 1960 and 1968, there were 75 books uh, that were written about Martin Luther King. So that's yet another way to find a good set of sources. Another way to look through Questia is by browsing. I'm going to click on the little link up here to go back to the home screen. And look underneath, there's topic categories I could browse through. So if I click on psychology, you'll see there's sub uh, specific subcategories underneath that. Um, let's try learning and developmental disabilities. And then attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And then once on your screen uh, for a particular subject like this one, you'll see an overview from an encyclopedia article. If I click on this, I'll see it's, yep, it's from the Columbia Encyclopedia from 2012. And then below that, you'll see a list of full text books and articles on this topic. You'll notice on the left that icons are for books mostly, but then you'll see a journal article mixed in too. Finally, you may want to browse for a particular title. Now you can do that by clicking on the Browse Our Library link at the top. And then click on, say, Magazines under Publication Type. And then you can see, let's see, what they have on Environmental Magazines. There's 15 titles here. Um, you can see how many issues, how many articles are in each title in the date range. Or I could type in a particular title. Yep, that title is available. There are the dates of the issues, the volume numbers. And I could open up any of those volumes by clicking on these links. Remember that this is not the only source in the library for periodicals. There's also JSTOR, SIRS, and the other Gale databases. Make sure you check those too if you're looking for a title that's not available in Questia. And there you have it. Finding information from the collection of over 6 million books and articles is easier than ever. 
So now you can concentrate on reading, finding answers, and becoming an expert from your research.